What up, NBA fans? What up, Hoopers? We got to the NBA Finals, like everyone predicted. Denver Nuggets. Uh, <laughs> Miami. I predicted them. <laughs> Boston uh, let me down, bro. Yeah, they, that was a. Uh, a lot of people still. I think ESPN still had them winning after it all. I mean, they went came back 3 They looked like they had all the momentum, and then. <laughs> yeah, we'll t- we'll do a video later on their yeah. choke job, but Miami did their thing, bro. Like, yeah, I ain't hating on them. This Boston's fault if they choked on it, but I don't think Miami could beat Denver. Yeah. I really don't. Do you see this as a bubble thing again where they, they made it and they're going to kind of just feel like it's going to look like they're I, I, just a like, step under? I don't feel that way. Okay. Like, I mean, what did they do wrong? They stepped on the court and they freaking competed every time they, oh, yeah. you know. So, like, I don't – even people who hate on the bubble uh, playoffs, I don't get it. Like, I, I I believe in my heart, though, that if Giannis don't get hurt in that first game, Miami don't beat Milwaukee. Mm, that's a good one. I believe that to be true. But other than that, I mean, it's not Miami's fault that yeah. Giannis got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, give credit where it's due for sure. I know a lot of people are – what does this do for the Lakers legacy or whatever? But these two teams fought, and I, I saw some hate on Denver talking about, oh, they, they had an easy ride, an eighth, five, eight. And I was like, hey, you played hard the whole season. You deserved your air, wherever you got. Don't be mad at them. Be mad at whoever the hell didn't do a good. Be That's the beauty better. of playoff basketball is, like, get there and let's see what happens. Yeah. And now Miami's in the finals. A playing team made it all the way over there, and then the team that pretty much dominated the West is in there. And now we get to see two teams go at it. Um, I guess who are you? Everybody is more looking at, of course, Jimmy Butler on Miami, and then Nicola mm-hmm. on Denver. But who do you? Think I think for there? Denver, it comes down to the other guys. Yeah, like in totality, because I don't think Miami's deep enough and healthy enough to compete when you're getting production out of a Bruce Brown and the other Brown and Contavious called Will Pope and Gordon's rebounding. Like I just think Denver's so deep and they're just a, a good team that if they all just do their job, nobody has to be a superstar. I think it's easy for Denver. Yeah. And, and it's, I mean, we look at Nicola, we look at Jamal Murray and the way they can take over games, but I think for sure depth is going to come in because like, oh, you're not having it? Throw this guy in. Oh, you don't have it? Throw this guy in. Whereas Miami, it's like, Gabe, I need you. I need you, bro. I need you. Caleb Martin, like, kudos to that dude, but it's like, can you keep going? Yeah, yeah, he's going to get paid, but can you keep going? Yeah. Different team, different place. You're playing in um, altitude, mm, eh. yep. and I don't care what they say. That altitude does matter. Eh. I think it really comes down to, like, in my opinion, like Miami's strategy to see how long this series goes. Yeah, I'm gonna call Denver in six because I think that Miami is capable of making enough adjustments in between games to win games. And then also, like, if you look at like the Lakers series with Denver, there's a couple games when Joker got tired, like he just didn't have it that night, and I get it. For what he does um so i think denver and six but i think that what i mean by like miami's strategy is like do we let joker go off and stop everybody else or like how do we play this yeah. it's just so good in denver like they could play any way you want to because being honest bam out of bayou could literally get in foul trouble by at least two of those big men over there so it, man it, it's like I don't know how what y'all are gonna do because, like you said, do you, I let him just do his thing and stop everybody else, or do I try to stop him? And well, let's just be completely honest. Bam Adebayo is just like a a tear down from Anthony Davis. Just yeah. you know what I'm saying, defensively, offensively, everything they do. But Joker just gave Davis the business. So what are you gonna do, Bam? Yeah. Good luck, bro. Hey, y'all don't have a Hachimura. Y'all don't have a LeBron. You know? No. I don't know. It, it, and it's like I give praise. I know Miami fans like y'all are haters, da, 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 da. but it's like we're we're looking at it realistically. Like 
the hot hands sometimes they last and sometimes if they last hey you have a fighting chance for sure with a, de- a deep deep team but we've said it before this denver team is deep they deep. have it all i will say in coaching of course you have eric spolstra which is arguably one of the best coaches in basketball but it's like at the end of the day you still have to play the game and you still have to make your it's shot. just denver so good at everything like we, we sit here and we talk Denver basketball and I mind everybody that we jumped on the Denver train way before the playoffs started. So we're good. But like we sit here and think about how Denver's going to win with Joker or Murray. Right. And then it's like, damn, you watch them sometimes. And it's like fuck, Porter went off for a half mm-hmm. or yeah. Gordon's controlling the boards and the tempo of this game with his energy or Bruce Brown is just doing Bruce Brown shit. So it's like, you never know. Yeah, there seems to be – the way that Miami has people step up because they have to, it just seems like Denver has people step up just because it's their time. Now, if I feel like Miami has an advantage of any in any way, it's like I don't know of a starter on Denver that is good enough to chase the motion, like off-screen stuff that like – Duncan Robinson and Gabe Vincent and Struess are going to do. You know what I mean? So I haven't seen them chase people off picks too much. So that's what I want to see how Miami plays that. Yeah. It's going to be fun, though. I think anybody that's hating on this finals, you tripping. Eh. Let me ask you this. Yeah. With Miami getting to the finals and Jimmy Butler playing the way he did for most of the playoffs, does that put him – in a different category in the in the hierarchy of nba i feel like you have to i do i agree we always talk about this is the time it matters this is the time that matters i don't care what you did in yeah the off season i mean the regular season counts but playoffs is where it matters and i just think if you're gonna put like james harden I mean, Lillard doesn't ever make it anyway. So, uh, but like, but does those- it make James Harden? Do you put like just say James Harden has all the individual accomplishments you have? I put Jimmy Butler ahead of him. Oh, for sure. I mean, the way Jalen Brown played th- this last game, I might have to put him above you easily, bro. I put like, I don't think I had Jimmy Butler as a top ten player before these playoffs started. But Jimmy Butler's a top ten player to me. It. As of right now, I have to, I think, put him there. I mean, because you look at one injuries of players to what he did consistently throughout this whole thing, leading his team. I mean, even last year, he was a shot away almost from. Yeah, he was a bad three pointer away. So it's it's just like I I I can't argue with you, bro. Men like I'm happy for him. Numbers don't. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. He he deserves it. Philly fans, Minnesota fans, I know y'all heard, but yeah. I'm fan type day. Just give us a good series. Like, don't let Denver blow them out. Yeah, like, I don't I, the, you, like, you think you just ruined it for me, bro, because if Bam gets in foul trouble, it's going to be ugly basketball because Denver's just going to go up by 25. I I will say there's going to – I do think there's going to be a game where – Oh, for they, sure. They do for that. Sure. But but that's why I said I, I think I agree with the six. Like, I think Spolstra is smart enough to be like, hey, we have to do this this way and all that stuff. And so that's where it kind of gives me hope a bit. Like I said, I don't pick Miami winning yet. I think Denver is just too strong. I think we've, it, we've seen the struggles of them being injured and coming back. Like, it's a beautiful story. And it's their first championship. Ever. It would do Miami a lot of – uh, help if Kevin Love can hit the three like he did early in that Boston series. Oh, yeah. Get them big men away from that basket, and, and that would help the team. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun, though. I, I think it's going to be fun. I can't wait. If you're not hyped for this, I don't know what you what you were wanting. You must have been a Boston fan or something. Yeah, like well, this. you know, you know, a lot of people are just like LeBron, Luka, those kind of men. I love Joe, how Joker plays. I love how uh, Butler plays. I love how Murray plays. I mean, Stephen A. Smith said that uh, Nicola is not a top five uh, super max contract. Okay. He he's literally didn't have him as top five. I was like, I like, was like, this is why I don't watch ESPN. Not That's to be a dick, bro, but like in the grand scheme of things, if he wins a championship this year, he goes ahead of a lot of people in all time great. Like Harden 
was and Anthony Davis and Lillard were all just on the 75 team. Like he just he gets in ahead of all of y'all for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Steve Nashes of the world, like those guys. He's like, he's got a fucking ring and two MVPs. Bye, hey. Oh, I see. I don't know about Barkley. Yeah, I see. I had to see. <laughs> it, it's I think we have to see what he how his career goes, but for sure. I think if he gets this championship, I mean, this dude solidifies himself as the best big man in NBA right now. I think he's the best player in the world. Like, it's either going to fluctuate between him and him and Giannis. I was thinking that, yeah. We need to do a video on that one day. But I, I think for sure, like, I don't I don't get how people don't have him in their top fives at all. It's They are, they are tripping our wild and, like, I like Luca, but if you put Luca above him, you tripping. Man. You're dumb. Yeah, that is, no disrespect to Luca, but Luca's not on that level. He's done nothing to to prove it. You know what I mean? Oh, they put. Would you put Jason Tatum in front of him? Eh. No, not. A, and, yeah, I wouldn't put Tatum in front of Butler right now. Yeah, and that's that was the thing. Like, I remember the. I I don't look at Stephen A. as an NBA guy. I don't care how many years he's done it. The shit he says is just like mind boggling. It's like, yeah, but he put Curry, Giannis, LeBron, Tatum, um, and Luca. No, I, uh, yeah, uh, Giannis, Joker, and Curry, Durant, and probably I don't know who my fifth would be, but those four first four are my best four in the world. Yeah, they can lead a team, carry a team. We've seen it before. I don't know, guys. Y'all let us know. I don't know. Who you got, Miami fans, Denver fans. We've been on the Denver Nuggets train for a little while. Word. We're rooting for you. Hope you get your first championship. Y'all deserve it. Um, Jamal Murray, hope you go lights out, bro. Welcome back. You deserve it. Bubble, yeah, he does. I, yeah. I mean, we called it. They're ready for to make a run. I'm good. I'm happy. Yeah. I'll make sure to like, subscribe, guys. We'll be having a lot more NBA content on all NBA teams coming up. We're going to have you covered on all draft. Off-season, trades, everything. We got you covered, man. Much love, Peace. people. We out. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.